Aloha and welcome back everyone to another screencast put together by your National Weather Service Forecast Office in Honolulu, Hawaii. Today we'll be talking about how to find National Weather Service watches, warnings, advisories, and some other products on our webpage. There are three main options to find active weather hazard products on our webpage. The first option is to click under this menu here, Current Hazards, on the Hawaii link. This link will bring you to a separate page which will list all the active watches, warnings, and advisories. The second option is to click right on the map. The map here is interactive and will be highlighted depending on what type of hazard is present. In this case, there's not much going on in this image. Most of it's white, but there is a wind advisory for the summits of the Big Island highlighted here in brown. You can click right on the map here over the hazard and it will bring you to a page which will display that information as well. The third option is to click on the link to the right of this map which lists all the active warning, watch, and advisory products, as well as short-term forecasts if those are available. Let's take a look at option one here under this menu, Current Hazards, and clicking on Hawaii. As you can see, it brings you to this page where right now there's no active watches, warnings, or advisories. If there are, they'll be listed here. You can also click and see the hazards listed by island or by county or statewide, and then click on each individual hazard from there. Now, this link up here, this Watch Warning Advisory Product Information, is a link that takes you to a sheet which will give you more information more specifically about what our watches, warnings, and advisories specifically mean listed by hazard. Here's what it looks like as you click on that link. It gives you a generic description about what watches, warnings, and advisories mean here at the top of the, of the page. There's also a link to a video presentation that goes through these differences as well here. And then down below is product by product description of what to expect when you see these products issued, describing what, it, say, a tornado warning is, or a flash flood watch and warning may be. Now let's take a look at number two, clicking right on the map. So we'll take a look here and click on the map. You click on the map, it zooms in and gives you a forecast point for where you clicked. It lists the seven-day forecast, current conditions, gives you an option here in this map to click even further in to get a different forecast. Now, if a watch warning or advisory is present, even a short-term forecast for that matter, it will be listed as a link above the first period here in the seven-day forecast. Simply click on that link and you'll be brought to the product. Now, let's take a look at option number three. That's clicking right here on the hazard to the right of the map and you get that product. So we'll pretend to click on Wind Advisory here and it'll pop up the active product. Now after you click on the hazard, the appropriate product will pop up and take special note to notice the body of the product. Okay, So at the top there's a headline that tells you what it is and it talks about how, how long this advisory is in effect. Down below that is the main body of the product which talks about what to expect, strong winds the timing of it, and especially look at the impacts. What are these strong winds going to do in the case of this advisory? If it's a tornado warning, what's the tornado going to do? What is the winter storm going to do, the high surf? So make sure you take a look at this impact area as it gives you great information about how you can stay safe. Now, if you're looking for the latest hazard reports, you go back to our main page, weather.gov slash Hawaii, scroll down a bit below the interactive map, and right here is listed local storm reports. Any of the reports that we get in from the media, from civil defense and other agencies reporting active weather hazards or the weather damage related to those hazards, we'll put into these local storm reports. Simply click on this link and you'll get linked to the latest local storm report to get more information about the current situation or even a past situation as we put these reports in sometimes after the fact as well. Hope you've learned a lot from this presentation. Feel free to contact us anytime via email or phone to, for more questions and, an, and answers that may help you along the way. Have a great day.